Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 11th, 2024. Well, I apologize that there was no uh, video on Friday. We woke up on Friday with a internet outage, and that lasted until, well, about 30 minutes before the market opened, thank goodness, that um, I got my internet back. So had a relatively normal day, except for that morning prep portion of the day. So I apologize. Back on task here this morning. Let's take a look at what happened overnight here. First off, we had Asian markets uh, mostly lower. Um, interestingly enough, um, Hong Kong and Shanghai were holding up okay. In fact, uh, Hong Kong nicely up 1.43%. But in other areas of, of the Asian markets last night, we had the Nikkei falling pretty hard. They dropped 868 points or 2.19% after hitting those record highs over there. And then um, Australian markets were also down 1.82% two percent if we take a look across europe this morning europe pretty bearish overall the dax being down substantially FTSE and cac um, also lower um, and showing just a little bit of bearish pressure there in um, the european markets and then if we look at u.s markets well our u.s markets currently are down across the board but since i have been up this morning we've already got the pre-market pump starting to come back up and ease some of those pressures trying to push things back up here on a monday morning and who knows where that will be it's it's like every day anymore we um we see in the pre-market it's just buy pump 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 in the pre-market to push things up and then we wait until after the market opens to see what's actually going to happen. Then if we take a look at our oil markets here this morning, oil just ever so slightly up. It was originally down, but just ever so slightly up here this morning, natural gas being flat. And then bond prices. Well, we have our 10-year bond just easing off a tiny little bit here at 4.08% while the two-year bond seems to be holding in there pretty solid at 4.49%, and the 30-year bond also just drifting a little bit lower at 4.25%. Short-term bonds continue to stay very elevated above um, the two tens with the six-month at 5.29 and the three-month at 5.37. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, friends and fellow traders. Well, how about we take a look at these index charts, see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach today. Please keep in mind that as we go through this, I'm using um, just basic technical analysis and we want to use some, um, well, a set aside of our bias so that we can just really look at the chart for what it is, not for what we want it to be in the market. First off, if we take a look at the diamonds, and the diamonds is the only index right now that I have a little bit of concern over. If you notice, I drew this line up here across these tops in the diamonds. And unfortunately, this would be um, a, another lower high after this lower high in the chart. And obviously a bit of a um, ugly pattern here. This is what you'd call a gravestone doji at the at a possible top here in the market. Um, when we closed on Friday, no particular worries um, because we were still holding on to this price support, meaning that if we found some good bullish inspiration, every reason to believe we could push back up here. But as you can see this morning, a little bit of a gap down maybe coming here in the diamonds. And as always, it, one day doesn't make a trend. What we really will need to see is some kind of a follow through. So um, if we don't follow through here to the downside today and push back up, uh, that dragonfly doji may not mean an awful lot. So let's go through this. If the bulls, if the bulls find in, um, inspiration here today and we push back through this resistance in the chart, 
Well, then keeping in mind, as we press back up here, we'll start looking for these resistance levels to see whether or not we can break through up there. And, and I got to tell you, the, the, the way the market has been so um, incredibly bullish, just willing to buy pretty much anything, you certainly can't um, rule out that possibility to start pushing through and maybe testing some of these levels up here. And once we start breaking out up here, then we're looking at um, some potential record high closes in the market. However, if the bears were to find that inspiration and we end up staying below these areas here in the chart and being um, respectful of that downtrend, and if we were to push any lower here in, the, um, in this chart, well, I think the test would be right in here. Can we hold this area again like we did last time and then bounce back up off of here? Now, noticing that we bounced up there without a whole lot of momentum in that move. So we'll watch that carefully. Breaking down below this area would certainly, would certainly raise fear in the market and uh, make a little bit of a um, uncomfortable situation here overall if we break down below that noticing that we could come into some support levels maybe right through there uh, there's also support right down through here as we could test those but albeit pretty big point moves could uh, occur to the downside if those bears really start to push. Now, if we look at our SPY, a very different situ situation here. I don't, there's no harm here at all. The SPY, although we had a bearish engulfing candle there on Friday, I don't think that that's going to mean anything unless we can follow through to the downside. And you can see we've got a little bit of support right in there to hold. So if those bears continue to follow um, um, in, or get continue to get inspiration, then I would watch this area right in here for a little bit of price support and right along that trend. Everything looks pretty good here, at least at the moment. If we were to follow through to the downside and break, this area here, well, that's where we might come into a little concern. You can see we've got some support right in here that could possibly hold after breaking that trend. But if that support doesn't hold, I think coming down into here would probably raise some concern in the market and, and may really kick up a little bit of fear. If we were to break through that area of the chart, oh my goodness, if that would be a really big move. But if we were to do that, you can see down in here, that could be painful dropping into that gap and really shake the confidence of the market if that were the case. Now, if the bulls were to find that inspiration and continue to hold in this support area of the chart, I would say probably no particular worries here at all. And that possibility that we could bounce and, and then we're starting to look at these resistance levels to see if we can break out there and then blue sky highs above. But one thing I wanna to continue to point out is don't disrespect something like a bearish engulfing candle like this. Don't just think that we're just automatically going to zoom back higher. There seems to be a bit of a rotation going on here in the market that will affect the SPY. Speaking of rotation, when we take a look at the QQQ, well, that was a pretty hard hit on Friday. Big bearish engulfing candle pushing down. And we have given up this little um, short-term upside trend. You know, we tried to push that back up through that area here, leaving a little bit of concern um, on that chart. And as you can see right here, if we take a look, we may have created a little bit of a double top high here in the diamonds. Now coming back up, if the bulls find that inspiration here today, they've got some work to do because coming back up on this could be hard uh, to push all the way back up unless we have something really inspiring. Now pushing back up, we need to start breaking through and popping these little levels right in here, then pushing on up to see whether we can recover that big black candle in the chart. If we can, then every reason to believe that we can pop right on through to new blue sky highs. Now, if the bears, if those bears were to find inspiration here in the market and continue to follow through, well, you can see where this gets pretty critical. Breaking down below the support level, we have a giant gap here in the chart and that possibility that we could fall into that gap. Now, there is a little price support over here that we could catch before we fall all the way into that gap. 
but a push right on through into here would certainly raise some concern in the market. And what I was suggesting is uh, I've been talking about this for a while. I think there's a rotation going on and I think maybe some of these uh, tech giants are selling off just a little bit. Now there is a little bit of a saving grace here because we still have that last potential surge that could occur in um, corporate buybacks in these big techs but we are coming into that blackout period so as we cross over about the middle of this month we're going to start going into the blackout period of corporate buybacks they won't won't be able to do anything in there and um, we could see that fade continue to happen in here so after that period of time so watch that closely we could get that surge of corporate buybacks here to kind of finish up um, this cycle to see whether they can keep uh, pushing these indexes higher now if we take a look at our iwm our iwm well very very bullish here continuing to hold up but we left kind of a little bit of a concern here i'm not going to call that a uh, necessarily a really strong uh, uh, bearish engulfing candle it is but it's more of a dark cloud cover candle here in the chart but you'll notice we are holding this trend what's interesting is that we ran up there we took a look at this big resistance in the chart and then we backed away pretty hard here on Friday so watch that carefully if those bulls find inspiration we hold some areas of price support in here in the chart well there's every reason to believe that we could push up off of this trend continue to see if we can attack this resistance high and try to pop through there and there may be some reason for that possibility occurring again because of rotation out of big tech and rotating into some of the other areas of the market consumer staples being one of those so watch that close now if the bears were to find inspiration here well you can see it really wouldn't be that big of a push if we did get a follow through to that bearish candle to push on down and break that upside trend we might be coming into some support levels in here in the chart to test those levels if we really start that bearish move to the downside so watch iwm closely here this rotation might be a little bit of a clue why this could hold up and then if we take a look at our vix well as you can see our vix ended up holding up here and i'm going to get rid of a bunch of these lines here in the chart and I want you to notice something in here that we haven't seen much of but we've been running up here in this little upside trend and we did hold on to some price support in here on Friday we did pop get pretty fearful but pulled back so watch that carefully but one of the things we don't want to see is if you're a bull in the market you don't want to see a higher low get placed breaking this trend right here pushing up a higher low and if we were to push up higher that's usually where serious selling can be, pick up in the market and you can go back in the VIX and look at that over and over and over it's the higher low that really starts to bring that fear into the market now if those bulls can push right on through and say no we're not going to worry about any of that jazz and push this back down well no particular worries if that were the case if the bulls find that inspiration it's going to be if the bears find the inspiration here that could raise some worry in the market let's take a look at our uh, t21 22 t21 22 is the four week new high new low ratio and you um, probably saw this as we tried to push really hard in that morning gap that morning pop-up here um, that we're doing every single day lately um, you can see as we push up here um, yesterday excuse me on friday we had put um t21 22 up here in the bearish reversal zone again and we've done that a couple of times here recently and then it just faded back this time leaving a little bit of a hook pattern here in the chart um one of the analogies that i use all the time um you know you put a hockey have a hockey stick in the air what happens you get penalized and you go to the penalty box 
Well, I can't really say that with um, a lot of confidence here in the market because of the the relentless bullishness that we have seen and a willingness of retail traders to chase stocks to the upside. But that being said, if those bulls find inspiration here today to push on higher, well, then there's every reason to believe that we can push up into this zone again. We've been so resilient in this market on the bullish side and the bears just haven't had a whole lot to say. They just haven't been able to maintain any consistency. But if those bears were to push, then I want you to keep in mind how big of space that we have opened up here to the downside that we could run if those bears find any reason to push or move to the downside. We've got substantial opportunity for some big point moves. So be kind of careful. Make sure you stay with the trend raise your stop losses, keep those things nice and tight up there in case this does flip to protect your capital because I think the flip could be a bit on the painful side. And then looking at our uh, T2108, this is the percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. We did a good job here last week. We pushed up pretty solidly, continuing to maintain this upside momentum here in the market. And I, I gotta be careful with the use of momentum because there really wasn't a whole lot of momentum in this um, recent upside move. And you can look right in here, we're coming into a price resistance. And once again, there's that hockey stick in the air. We'll wanna be watching that carefully. If the bulls can follow through and break this resistance, then we, we are probably going to relax just a little bit, seeing um, those stocks coming up. But if those bears were to find some kind of inspiration in here, then pushing back down to test some of this trend, little support levels in there, watch that carefully it'd be only if really major fear were to come into the market that we get pretty um pretty ugly here and i'd be looking for that 50 percent area in the market as kind of a a show of either support or a fail through there could be um, on the critical side and then if we take a look at that t21 uh, t21 07 this is a percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average. And notice we've been trying to squeeze this higher as well, trying to break through up here. We kind of snuck out of there um, on, um, on Friday um, this week, but we left that hockey stick up here in the air again, a little bit of a hook starting to happen. So if we can continue to see those bulls push, we'll look for this little resistance up here in the chart. If the bears were to come into play, then I'm looking for some support down here, maybe to be tested if those bears were to engage. And then taking a look at our T2101, I think this is where the problem lies, everyone. And, and that is that our absolute breadth of the market, it's just not, there's just not any energy here in the market. We get these um, morning pop-ups where we get the pre-market pump to get everybody excited and get retail trying to buy and then we fade it back. And I think there is that rotation going on here in the market. So be really, really careful here. Um, as you can see, we end up le leaving a little bit of a hook here on Friday as well. The interesting thing is we're not seeing this expand on a bearish move. If, if the bears were really to pick up, and we start selling off and we see this expand to the upside on a bearish move, that's where worry will come in. Right now we're not seeing that, but we're also not seeing it when we push up on the bullish side. We've got a major, a major um, situation here in the market where our markets have been going up and up and up, our indexes and the market breadth continuing to decline. So we'll want to watch this carefully here. And since we're running into that situation that very, very soon we could come into the, well, we will be coming into the blackout period of corporate buybacks. We'll want to watch that carefully because we could see that fade any even more. If, for, for example, we can get that surge of energy over the next few days um, as they kind of wind up their corporate buyback uh, period here, we might actually see this surge to the upside on the bullish wave. Watch that carefully. 
And then if we take a look at our economic calendar here for the day, well, our economic calendar is going to be pretty interesting for us this entire week. Um, today could be pretty much a hurry up and wait situation here in the market as we um, continue to look forward to the Tuesday CPI numbers. You know, any time we're starting to look at some of these numbers um, on inflation, there's that little bit of worry and concern um, that could really be raised in the market. And we'll wanna keep an eye on that um, heading in. So today could be nothing more than a hurry up and a wait day. Don't be too surprised if we just bounce around a lot, a lot of choppiness, a lot of whipsawing as we wait for that CPI. As we move through the week, you'll notice we've got a petroleum status over here, our normal mortgage applications, some bigger bond auctions, a 30-year bond auction in there. We've got a 10-year note auction in here on Tuesday. Um, notice that there are no Fed speakers. That's a hint. No Fed speakers because next week they are in their blackout period and um, we'll be getting a um, uh, FOMC meeting next week. And then if we look into Thursday, we've got jobless claims uh, we've got a PPI number, or producer prices, retail sales, business inventories, and then on Friday, we're going to get Empire State, um, import, export, industrial production, and consumer sentiment. So, um, really light day today. Things start pick up with a little picking up tomorrow with a little bit of concern in there. If we take a look at our earnings calendar here for today, we've got a few things to be paying attention to on the earnings side. I'm gonna run through these quick because there's just not too many uh, that are notable. Um, FTRE <coughs> reporting this morning, as you can see, uh, that's feeling a little bit of pinch from this resistance high up here and that earnings report pushing to the downside. We've got LEGN. Um, tried to pop here in um, their earnings report. Well, I don't know if they've reported just yet, but it's tried to pop here in the pre-market. This is trying to hold a little bit of an upside trend. Might be interesting to pay attention to if you like those biotechs. Then this afternoon is where we kind of pick up our most notable. We're going to have Oracle report this afternoon, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from um, ASAN this afternoon. CVGW will be reporting. We've got Casey's General Stores that will be reporting. AVO and MTN will be reporting this afternoon. So those are your notables for the day. And one of the things, we're really going to start diminishing the numbers. It's gonna be a much, much lighter week here on earnings. And all there, although there are some notables to be paying attention to, it's not going to be the kind of notables that particularly move the market dramatically. So another reason why we might be running into a little bit of a breadth problem here in the market that we'll wanna be watching closely. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. And also, big shout out to those of you who share these videos out on your social media feed. I truly appreciate it. That helps the channel to, to grow as well. And just a big thank you uh, for everyone who supports the, uh, the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market because there is that possibility of some pretty big point moves if those bears were to pick up here. Not saying they will, but I would be prepared for that possibility if they start picking up. First off, 
um, follow your uh, your trading rules, follow your risk tolerances, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at this TEVA. You guys know I've been talking about TEVA for a while. It's been trying to get going here, just hasn't been able to find that follow through energy. This is a very, very bullish chart. Continuing to consolidate out here on this trend, every reason to believe if this catches a little bit of fire on the bullish side, that that could push right on up here in the chart. I would watch that one closely. I think tractor supply is setting up again, very much like it did this last time. There was my alert right in that chart and you can see push straight, straight on up. Now resting back into trend. Watch this consolidate out here. I would be looking for that next opportunity that tractor supply could move on through to the upside if those bear, or excuse me, bulls could continue to find inspiration here in the market. Um, let's take a look at IBM. This is one big tech right now that's holding up really well. If I pull this back, I'm gonna go to a weekly here. You can see this is a big deal. We have run up here in a very parabolic move on that weekly, but ran up here, broke through some resistance resistance in the chart and well as you can see no real selling since we've done that just a resting consolidating pullback so I would be watching this on this trend looking look at that next opportunity that IBM could move on higher here in the chart now there are some stocks starting to show some interesting signs and I I had mentioned the possible rotation um, Nvidia as you guys know had a pretty rough day on Friday coming back and it's already trying to find some buyers here this morning but obviously pretty rough selling and we've been seeing these signs and I have um, um, warned in fact uh, folks in um, right way options have made some money on these sell-offs in Google this head and shoulders pattern that failed and that possible chance that we could be coming right back up in here to another failure pattern here in Google so I would watch that close Apple um, has been the same um, that head and shoulders pattern failure a trend pushing down here to support so I would be careful with some of these texts because we're starting to see maybe a little bit of hints you know if we look at AMD big old shooting star pattern here on Friday no harm here in this chart no technical damage but that little bit of worry starting to show up in some of these tech giants and even Microsoft um, starting to show that little bit of downtrend um, potential coming in here and that possibility that we could move on lower here in Microsoft. Now that being said, where are they going? Where are some of these uh, big tech profits going to? Well, what I'm seeing is a pretty interesting move into consumer staples. Consumer staples, you can see this beautiful upside trend. And if you just picked up XLP here, that nice little move up in here, this is resting back now. Look for that next opportunity for XLP, maybe to surge on higher. We could test some of these resistance levels. But let's just go to the XLP um, um, ETF here and see what we've got included in this. And I have highlighted a few that you might want to be paying attention to. Take a look at um, TAP here. S uh, TAP pushing this major resistance here in the chart. Nice solid move to the upside. If this were to pop out of that resistance up here and hold, boy, I'd look for some upside in TAP. Um, S Day Lauder already pushed through a resistance level and it's been consolidating back here. Remember, this is an earnings report that gapped it through there. Consolidating back, you can see that resistance right in here setting up. But as we move into this trend, Look for that opportunity that Estee Lauder could move on through. MKC setting up this major bottom, trying to push through some resistance here. I'd watch that. Kimberly Clark making that move. Boy, they don't get any more boring than an old paper company like Kimberly Clark, but we're seeing that consumer area of the market maybe starting to show some signs breaking through resistance. There's our upside trend. Any rest back? Look for that next opportunity. You can see um, Bungie trying to come up out of this bottom, and this is in one of our patterns that we like to watch. It hasn't kind of come up through that 50 yet, 
we've been using it as a hat here, that 50 day moving average, but watch that opportunity for what we call a rounded bottom breakout and a very bullish pattern here in the market. Walmart has been holding up extremely well, breaking through up here. Let's pull this back. This is a weekly chart and you can see all time highs here in Walmart. Blue sky highs tend to make more blue sky highs. So watch that carefully as this kind of consolidates and rests back into the trend. Look for that next opportunity to the upside there. Other places that I think are very, very interesting in the market right now, and I've got to mention these, um, GLD um, gold has been remarkable here zooming to the upside now this needs a pullback there is really not much good logic to um, see something go straight up parabolic and not expect a substantial consolidation or pullback coming but if we get that rest or pullback in here in the market you'll want to notice that this is big deal this is a multiple high breakout here multiple year breakout in gold and if that rests back and consolidates in here and holds on to support and trend i would be watching for that next opportunity into gld if we look at silver silver made a <clears throat> big breakout here as well breaking through substantial levels of price and this goes back a long ways lots of resistance in the chart and we're up here testing this area of the resistance now so any rest or pullback that holds a support in here and holds on to this trend, I would be looking for that next opportunity into silver. Um, take a look at um, anything um, in the copper area, a CCO big pop here in copper southern copper nice pop breaking the downtrend rest or pullback sets up an opportunity there you could look at fcx break of the downtrend pushing through some resistance here in the chart rest consolidate sets up the next opportunity there we could take a look at steel steel dynamics so looking very very strong here pushing up in a trend little resting pattern here in the chart but there's every reason to believe we might attack this level up here and then push on through to some um, big all-time highs in steel so take a look at those steel stocks out there um, let's take a look at um, some other areas here of the market like uh, palladium Palladium, you guys know that I've been talking about this. We made this big pop in Palladium, breaking this massive downtrend, resting, consolidating in here. I would look for that next opportunity that Palladium could break and move on higher. We've been seeing um, the same kind of moves in some of those um, aggregate-related um, stocks. Take a look at, um, whoops. DBC. DBC um, had a big pop here um, and then pulled back in that move. We're seeing some of those commodity prices building these bases um, and tried to pop here first thing this morning, but watch that closely. Anytime we see the dollar weaken, and one of the reasons dollar is weakening is we're seeing those bond yields continuing to show that weakness in the market and potentially fall. If the bond yields continue to fall here in the market with the suggestion that the market could continue to go higher or rate increases are coming, or, or excuse me, rate decreases are coming, then it's natural that the dollar falls and we can see any commodity prices start making those moves to the upside and I would watch that area right there for that possibility of that pop. Take a look at um, soybeans. Big pop here in soybeans today. They've been moving through breaking the downtrend. I've been mentioning corn. Corn's been coming up in that pattern so watch some of those commodity prices in here. And if you're looking for a way to trade the weakening dollar, UUP as you can see there's the dollar um, bullish fund ETF showing that fade breaking some support levels here in the market you could also look at um, and maybe picking up the inverse of this um, I think it's UDN if I remember right UDN yeah there's your bullish or excuse me bearish inverse ETF on the dollar big old pop and drop here uh, going on um, on Friday but little rest back into here 
watch for that possibility if we start seeing those bond yields collapsing um, some of these prices moving on higher and we can also see that when we look at oil um, stocks even though oil has not oil prices haven't been moving up that much some of these oil stocks are making that move to the upside because we're seeing that weakening dollar as the dollar weakens costs more to buy the same amount of oil and we start seeing some of these oil producers pushing on through so I would keep an eye on those Valero energy potentially up here breaking a multi-year multi-resistance high here in the chart watch Valero if that were to break out up here on that refining side pushing through and holding up here could set up some pretty nice opportunities in that area as well so I've run through a lot of stocks here for you to maybe take a look at and there are a lot more that we could potentially look at starting to show that rotation here in the market so be kind of careful everyone um, with those tech giants and as we start running into that blackout period we can certainly see that kind that kind of rotation increase so watch carefully make sure you raise those stops stay with the trend but don't be um, sold into this that we can never pull back because that's usually when everyone thinks that the market can't pull back, that's usually when we do. So be very, very careful. Wishing you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here and listening today. I really, truly appreciate it. Thanks for all the well wishes about the foot. Um, I've got a couple more weeks here that I can't put any weight on my foot, but um, gotta go see the doctor here again, um, get another progress report on how it's healing up. So thank you everyone, that's very, very kind. Have an awesome day, be safe, be careful. Remember, we've got some big data coming this week, so plan carefully. Wishing you all the very, very best.